Well, Miami Heat Nation, after signing back Haywood Highsmith, it looks like the Miami Heat can't afford to bring any more free agents. And this is what's going to be the roster if there is no trades made. Terry Rozier, who's finally going to be healthy. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Jovic, and Bam. Obviously brought in Burks, Duncan Robinson, Jaime, Highsmith, Khalil Weir, Jay Rich, Kevin Love, Larson, and Bryant. That's going to be our roster. Do you guys think this roster could compete with any team in the Eastern Conference, like the 76ers, like the Boston Celtics, and like the New York Knicks? Because personally, in my opinion, I don't. And um, this is unfortunate. A lot of stuff did not go our way during free agency, like always, because it just never does the last couple of seasons. We have yet to land any stars in free agency. Our will so far is literally Kalel Weir. Like, it, it, it sucks. But hey, I'm happy that we got Haywood I. Smith. If he continues to work on that shot, it'll be fine. We got to really develop on, you know, Jovic and Jaime and all these young cats that we have because that's what's going to really bring us to the promised land if you really want to think about it. I mean, when you look at the Boston Celtics, they all grown from being drafted. They developed throughout the years and they won an NBA championship. So that might have to be the direction that the Heat may go and no longer go and get in the wheel because look at Mitchell, look at Dame, look at DeRozan, look at Kevin Durant, look at Kyrie Irving. Like there's so many players that just didn't want to come here or the Miami Heat just couldn't afford it. Now, obviously, um, we still have options like marketing and Brandon Ingram, but those are very slim to none, and I just don't see that happening now. So yeah, this is going to be the roster for the 2024-2025 season. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.